Hello, my name is Miss Nan Beeson and today we will be learning about the radioisotope iodine-131. Iodine-131 is used vastly in the medical industry. In this industry, it is mainly used to analyse the running of the thyroid. It is also used to treat hypothyroidism, which is when the thyroid gland becomes overactive, causing an abnormally fast heartbeat and a faster metabolism, as well as thyroid cancer. A few atoms of iodine-131 are administered into the body. The radioisotope then emits beta and gamma radiation. The iodine-131 is absorbed into the gastrointestinal tract and then starts to eradicate the gland cells. Beta radiation kills the thyroid cells that are overactive, but it only travels a small distance, usually not exiting the body. The gamma radiation, however, does travel several meters away from the patient and traces the progress three days later. This is why, when under this treatment, the patients are advised to not make much physical contact with other humans. Beta radiation is made up of high-energy electrons admitted from the nucleus and is penetrated by thick aluminium. Gamma radiation is a short wavelength of electromagnetic radiation and can be penetrated by thick lead. There are many benefits from using this radioisotope. Iodine-131 is beneficial as it completely destroys any harmful cancerous thyroid tissues. It also makes your thyroid function habitually, which is important as it controls your metabolism. This radioisotope also increases the level of sensitivity when detecting any diseases and has minimal side effects. As well as this, iodine-131 has a half-life of roughly 8.02 days. This means that patients who are living far away from the treatment have time to reach the facility before this radioisotope decays into xenon-131.